In today's video, we're going to be going over all the upcoming sneaker releases in the month of October. We got some great Jordan 1s, we got Travis's, so let's not waste your time and get straight into it. Apologies if I do sound a bit croaky, I've actually got COVID at the moment and I feel like utter sh**. As always, make sure you show love to the channel by liking today's video, subscribing and commenting down below what sneaker you are most looking forward to in the month of October. And let's get into it. Not wasting any time, on the 1st of October, we do have the Athletic Department Dunk Lowe's Deep Jungle. These should be retailing for £90, but I don't really expect any resell. However, as it's a good looking colorway, I'm including it in today's video. Moving on swiftly to the 3rd of October, we have the Dunk Low Smoke Grays. Again, a great looking shoe with some really good personal potential. In terms of resale, unless you have clients lined up, I will be skipping this release. On the 9th, retailing for £110, we have the Dunklo Paris Goebbels. I'm 100% sure I've definitely butchered that name. This sneaker gives me Barbie kind of vibes, but it isn't the Barbie Dunks. That being said, there maybe could be some brick fit potential, but in my opinion, again, I will be skipping this release. 10th of release, I am very excited for, and these are the New Balance Protect packs. They are bringing out two new colorways in the khaki and the navy blue. Both are so so fire. If you've never had a pair of new balances I would recommend at least trying one on. The protection pack quality and these new balances are super clean and one of the comfiest sneakers I have ever worn. So again if you haven't tried one on before go to your local shop and try one on and I think you'll have a very positive opinion on these sneakers. So for this pair it's definitely a cop from me. On the 12th we have another really good personal potential and this is the Air Max 1 Olives. Air Max 1's really comfortable, can be worn with anything, and they look great. Again, personal is there if you want one in terms of resell, not too much. But moving on to something that will definitely resell on the 13th, we have the Travis Scott Jordan 1 Low Golf Sneakers. They are calling this the Olive colorway, however, it's not the Olives, this is the Golf version, and it's a lot more a lighter brown colorway. I expect retail to be around the 140 to 160 pounds, maybe a tiny bit more because they do like to charge a little bit more for golf sneakers but this is a great looking sneaker with some great potential of resale. I actually expect these to resell for above £400, £300 at minimum but this will be a very very difficult cop. Your places like the Nike sneakers app will get these but also other raffle retailers such as size launches, foot patrol, end launches and many many more. And if you're looking for a place that's going to tell you all the information you need with all the retailers well I suggest joining Kikik's Apprentice. This is a group I've ran for over two years now where we are proven to teach over a thousand people how to make money sneaker reselling and how to cop these super limited sneakers. Be like all of these members that you see on screen profiting from sneaker reselling and making a nice side income. We're going to give you all the sneaker related information so if this does sound of any interest to you check the top link down in the description below and join today. Our sneaker reselling success has been better than ever and people are making hundreds if not thousands a month from sneaker reselling. I do this full time and I'm here to teach you to do the same. Moving on to the 14th, we have the Jordan 1 Mauve. Not really the biggest fan of this colorway, however, Jordan 1s are quite wearable. Also on this date, we have a Gore-Tex version. These are actually called the Element Sky Jordan 1 Purple Gore-Texes. I've never really been a fan of the Gore-Texes, even though we probably should wear them, especially in the UK with how much it rains. But I just find the quality and the material used does make it look look just a bit weird. But another banger straight after that on the 18th of October, we have the Jordan 1 High Satin Reds. Now we are talking. This Jordan 1 High is a beautiful looking colorway. I don't expect these to perform as well as the original satins. However, this Satin Red Jordan 1 is super clean, a great personal to have, and a great sneaker collector's item. I will be definitely copying this sneaker for personal and I expect all of your main retailers to get these. In terms of the resale predictions, I can see some brick flip money to be made hopefully around the £180 resale mark but if you don't want to risk it I would suggest skipping this release unless you have the capital or you have the time to wait to sell this sneaker. I do believe you won't be able to sell this sneaker instantly for a good profit and it may take you a bit of time but for me it's definitely a cop and it's definitely one I've got to have in the collection. On the 24th we have a collab coming and this is the Chris Paul Jordan 1 Lowe's. Is it just me that thinks this sneaker is beautiful? The quality on 
from this sneaker, the different sort of details that you can see, and overall just a sneaker that is out there but not doing too much. With it being a light grey shoe, it's quite wearable but also it's quite out there and looks different to a normal pair of sneakers. With that being said, unfortunately it is a increase, retail being at £145, and I expect this to be because of the small details and the quality used. With that being said, I actually can still expect some resale money, I can expect definitely some brick flip or maybe even some more. I'll be sure to update you guys in Kai Kicks Apprentice when we get some more information and some updated retail predictions. And on the 25th we have the Jordan 1 Low Neutral Greys. Again a very very clean looking sneaker but not as good as the Chris Pauls in my opinion. This also does have an increased retail expected to be £150 which just makes no sense to me. In terms of resale predictions again brick flip money at best or if you have the clients for these. That is all the confirmed releases so far for the month of October however always more pop up throughout the month and if you want to be notified for everything sneaker related and all the different releases that do pop up over the month well Kai Kicks Apprentice is there for you. What is your favourite sneaker releasing this month? Please do drop it down in the comments guys. Again sorry for my voice is croaky I've really not been feeling the best recently but I hope you guys have enjoyed today's video. Subscribe to the channel if you want to buy any sneakers off me kaikicks.co.uk is a place to go 100% authentic and hassle free for you. Any questions you have drop them down in the comments or message me on Instagram kaikicks.uk. Good luck in all the releases and I'll see you guys in the next one. Peace out guys.